Do you know what time it is? It's time for some more Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. Yeah, somebody requested that I say my intro like I did in um, Kirby 64. So there you go. In the last part, we had my good friend, the Icy Phantom, join us as we did a good seven more of these Morales Race missions. And now we're going to do a few more of them. I don't plan to finish them in this part. So yeah, we'll probably do a good like eight of them or so, and then we'll save the rest for the last video. And yeah, we're, we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. We're almost done 100%ing this game. So you may have noticed in the last part, these races are getting a bit difficult, but the difficulty is kind of bipolar in that, like some of them I had a hard time with, but there were others that I did really easily. Like that last one I did in, like with no problem at all. So not really sure what to think there. And Mara is kind of beating me. Hmm. So um, so um, yeah, I had a lot of fun having um the icy phantom co-commentate actually. It's something that I like to do more often, having co-commentators. Um, ooh, do I have to... Okay, there we go. Oh no! Ugh, but yeah, as, as I was saying, um, I do really like having co-commentators. It's just that it's kind of inconvenient for me to record that. But me and Pink Pikachu are devising a plan where we'll be able to have people co-commentate with us a lot easier. So yeah, that's good. Just looking forward to that. Just a little project that me and Pink Pikachu are going through. And a few other people, of course, but- and I always get hit by that snowball. Alright. But anyway, enough about my channel stuff, because frankly I get a bit annoyed when people talk about their channel too much in their videos! I'm restarting. <laughs> but um, yeah, that might come off as hypocritical, because I do talk about my channel quite a bit in my videos. But anyway, I'm gonna cut ahead to me doing this correctly. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> wow. The moment I saw a com the moment I stopped commentating, that kind of thing happens. Beautiful. Number 19, Cozy Cabin. Something worth mentioning again. There are 30 of these missions. I guess I forgot to mention that. There aren't 20 of them, like a lot of these have been. Yeah, this has Mara's Race has the most missions out of any of the other type of friend missions, obviously. So, um, and yeah, you can see that you can actually whip her with your- that sounded really wrong, but you can actually whip her with, um, your little string arm of doom, and you can actually slow her down just a tiny bit, which I guess, it- it- it does something, so, you know. Okay, now let's try and get ahead of her. It's- it's kind of weird, like, she can phase through blocks, whereas we cannot, which is kind of annoying, and right here you just put a ground pound. That'll get you way ahead. And there. So yeah. Um, biggest trick you could do there, just ground pound near the end there, that'll basically wing it, w w wing it, win it for you, jeez. Number 20, Frosty Wheel. I don't remember anything about this particular friend mission, so we'll just have to wait and see. And yay, this is the one where we can turn into a sled. I love this so much, and we can, yeah, you can kinda, actually this is a really fun mission to speedrun. And then you can grab onto that, and oh, that's probably a really good shortcut too. Oh, and of course, ugh. You know, I do. I I really want to show what's up there, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and restart and try that again. Um, my brother has somebody over, so hopefully their noise won't interrupt the recording at all. Oh god! Now that I said that, I'm gonna get interrupted. It really is annoying getting interrupted as much as I do. But anyway, it's also annoying when you're watching an LP and the LPR can't stop saying anyway. But I diversed. <laughs> Um, oh, so that wasn't even a really good shortcut, and I just got frozen today. Mm, luckily, it didn't, like, normally when you get hit during these, it, it says, like, Hey, you need to wait 30 seconds before you move again, but luckily it didn't do that for that particular instance. That's right, particular and instance. Together, those th those two words have, like, 20 letters. I'm, I'm pretty damn smart, aren't I? <laughs> Number 21, Future City. Oh god, this is gonna be a pretty long one, isn't it? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And I can never understand what the gimmick of these of those platforms are, but... So something I kinda wanted to make note of... Well, maybe not make note of, but whatever. So, a popular LP here, <laughs> whose name I won't say, because I think you all know who he is anyway, just started an LP of Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah, you all know who he is. And because of his LP, I've actually been getting quite inter interested in the game. So I decided to get the game myself, I'm not gonna... Yeah. <sighs> Great. Now I need to wait until I can talk about it again, because that mission ended up being so short. God, stupid game. Not agreeing with my commentary. 
I'm a 22 at Tube Town, but as I was saying, Plants vs. Zombies, I decided to get the game. And I'm actually really impressed by it. It's definitely the best tower defense game I've played, I'll say that much. Because, I, well, of course, I haven't played... I haven't played it an immense amount of um, tower defense games, obviously, but... Well, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? That's not good. But yeah, I'm really impressed by the game. If you haven't tried it already, do it. I know it's a really popular game. It, it's, it, it's kind of saying, hey, if you haven't tried Call of Duty or whatever, or whatever them Xbox 360 fans are playing these days, you know, you should go play that. But yeah, I know it's, really, it's, it's, it's one of the really popular games, and if you were, like, if you ever ignored it or something, it, it's, it's definitely worth checking out. And I'm going to try this one more time on camera before I decide to cut ahead and speed up and all that fun stuff. So yeah, other than being completely addicted to Plants vs. Zombies, not much has been really new. Um, recently, <laughs> I'm noticing that I'm like I'm a really forgetful person, and because of that, I tend to forget promises that I that I promise to people. So yeah, I get kind of I get kind of annoyed from that because it really like I, I don't think I've ever hurt anybody's feelings because you know I forgot a promise or something like I promised somebody I'd do a quick commentary with them or something. And then I forgot to, or I forgot to meet up with them at whatever time, but anyway. Yeah, so, I've, I've noticed that I'm, I'm becoming really, really forgetful, so <laughs> I've actually considered making a planner on my computer, just of everything that I need to remember. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just that obsessive when it comes to being OCD. Obsessive when it comes to being OCD, that, that sounds really stupid, but anyway, cutting ahead until I get this right. Because while I was ranting about being forgetful, I forgot to win. There we go. Okay, a good trick to do is, near the beginning of the level, you can kind of skip pulling on that first string, and you can just kind of skip right to swinging up the platform, if that makes any sense. Number 23, Stellar Way. I can never, like, I can never tell if it's, uh, like, a really long mission or a really short mission, because it doesn't really time you or anything. I guess it, it does time you, but it doesn't say what the time is, basically. But, um, I don't know, I, I, really, like, I really like the concept of this level, like, you know, planets that are just kind of spinning right around and they're pl and they're like buildings on them and you have to maneuver around them pretty cool concept right there they never really did anything like that with super mario galaxy now that i really think about it like that particular idea of gravity i mean but anyway we can grab onto these another one of my favorite favorite um uses of that little power up and we have to head up this don't we oh god this is gonna be really annoying going through this while trying to be fast is going to be a pain i can tell I can tell. No, oh. a very obscure reference to a very obscure video that all of you have probably seen already, actually. But anyway, seems as though we're actually winning. Where's the where, Where's the end? No, it's it's it's, it's down there, isn't it? No, no, get out of my way, stupid UFO! Damn it! I got too distracted. There we go. Okay, it took me two tries there, actually. Wispy's Forest. It's looking like we're gonna go vertical in this one, which is good. Nice little change of pace. And again, we did, we did go vert vertical in the previous mission, so where does this... That was completely pointless. I'm gonna go ahead and restart then. Why'd they put that there? Is it just a distraction? I'm very curious now, but no, well. You can hear my brother in the background grooving around with his friend, but anyway, that's not relevant. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, not much is really new, other than things that I previously mentioned. I think I like sometimes I find myself trying to beat a lot of games at once. Like I'll challenge myself to beat a lot of games at once, or I'll be getting into a lot of games at once. So sometimes I actually like make sure I beat all the games that I plan to beat. You know, kind of, sort of. Are, are, are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? That, that, that's all I'm asking. I do. That's a cool little mechanic. And I went up the wrong one, of course. <sighs> little luck-based things like that. Just make the world go round. Oh god, he's gonna beat me, isn't he? Yep. 
cutting ahead to when I not fail. Number 25, Tempest Towers. This will be the last one we do today, because I want to save the last five for the last video of the main series. Yeah, in case you didn't notice, this is actually the second to last main video of this series. Um, the next one will be the last one of the main series, and then I'll post the credits and I'll give my goodbyes and everything, so yeah, that's that. Anyway, um, it's... looks Okay, so far this isn't looking too bad. The wind will get in the way. I'm not sure if... Mara is affected at all by the wind. I really hope not. Doesn't look like she is. She's not going any faster than she normally does, and oh god. Oh, dang it! Oh, dang it! Jupiter! Okay, she beat me. Okay, so I'll, I'll show this next attempt, and then, you know, I'll show it. And oh, wow, I was really close at the end. I almost had her. Damn. But something that is worth mentioning, um, two Kirby games just came out recently. Or no. One Kirby game came out recently, Kirby's Mass Attack. I, 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 already I already talked about that one, but one is, well, but there's another one for the Wii that is coming out. I believe it's called Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Um, not much is known about the game, other than the fact that it supports um, four-player action, kind of like New Super Mario Bros. Wii. A lot of people describe it to be a lot like New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but just with Kirby and more sucking, literally. But I mean, it looks like a really awesome game. The, the graphics look amazing, well, compared to other Wii games. I've never been one to care too much about graphics, but... Whenever the graphics are particularly good, I am happy. Still happy. And the graphics for Kirby Wii are particularly good compared to other Wii games, and I cannot seem to get this correctly. If I screw this up one more time, I'm just going to cut this out, but... Yeah, some of the really cool things about Kirby's Dreamland so far that I like personally is that the other players can play as Meta Knight and also King Nate today, so they might be able to do different things than Kirby can. I'm not sure if that's true yet. I, I assume it's true, because I'm assuming that Meta Knight can't suck things up and take their powers, but who knows. Maybe they'll just make it so that Meta Knight has the um, has the sword power up and Kenya today has the hammer power up. I don't know, that's something they'll probably end up doing. And then the fourth player actually gets to be a Waddle D, which is pretty amazing. And, and if, if I recall, the Waddle D gets a, get, gets a funny hat, so yeah, if, if you're not already sold on Waddle D, there you go. He wears a funny hat. That reminds me, in Kirby Superstar Ultra, they throw a boss at you, and basically all it is, is one Waddle Dee. I love that boss battle. And it's funny, because if you don't have a power-up, there's no way to beat it without getting hurt, which is kind of funny. But anyway, enough rambling. That is it for this video. Next time, we will finish Mara's Racing, and then we will 100% the game. We only have five more fabrics to go, and then we're done. So yeah, I'll see you guys then.